Hello there, Capricorn. How are you? Capricorn, I want to welcome you to your general messages for the second half of April of 2022. We're going to go ahead and jump right on into it. I'm going to pull you guys a Oracle message just for the overall message. And then we'll use the tarot to clarify around it. All right. So what is the overall message here for Capricorn for the second half of April? All placements of Capricorn. Okay, metamorphosis. Ooh. Capricorn, you got some big changes are gone. Okay, you got some big things happening. Okay, you are changing. I feel like not only is your environment changing, but I definitely feel like you are changing. You are becoming something else. Okay, it's that, um, you know, the energy, of course, everybody always talks about, you know, the caterpillar and the butterfly you know what I mean and this is that moment here where it's like okay the energies are supporting you getting ready to make a major transformation Capricorn okay so these are general messages so this could literally be in any aspect of your situations this could be in your job this could be your home life this could just be you personally and spiritually Capricorn but you're definitely making some changes okay and I really, really like that energy for you because it's a very positive energy. Like, look at all of the brightness. Look at all of those colors. So that really makes me excited for you. Okay, Capricorn, let's go ahead and pull some tarot and uh, get a clarification around it. All right, let's get this last shuffle. All right, so we've got the two of pentacles there coming off in your central energies. All right, we've got the king of wands, the page of cups, the knight of cups, okay. King of wands, uh, queen of wands, all right. Okay, nine of uh, uh, wands, wow, a lot of wand energies, five of cups, and then the three of cups. Okay, and then under the deck here, we have the four of wands. So a lot of wands energy. There's a lot of actions that are taking place right now, Capricorn. I also feel like there's a lot of actions that are being taken concerning emotions, okay? Automatically, um, when I'm I'm looking at this king and this queen here of wands, okay, so, you know, Capricorn, I feel like it's maybe really you who are resonating here to, I feel like it's you who's resonating more to this queen of wands energy. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with anyone's gender that's watching, but you specifically, I feel like you're resonating more with this queen of wands energy, Capricorn. <clears throat> Because the Queen of Wands is the person who has the confidence to do what is necessary, even if that is change. Okay? And with it being right under here in the row with the Two of Pentacles, uh, it's like, okay, Capricorn, it's more like your change is, is actually corresponding to a specific choice that you're having to make. A very important choice. Okay? A priority, even. It could be even that you're prioritizing yourself, okay? And it may look like it does revolve around um, a relationship, possibly. This could be maybe someone that you're married to, or it could be someone that you're you just really established in a long-time situation with here with this King of Wands energy. It feels like this King of Wands energy is there, um, but I do feel like they are uh, trying to express something to you here with this page and this night. Um, I think that they're definitely trying to maybe get your attention. It could be even that they're trying to distract you. Maybe you think that they're trying to distract you. Um, because I feel like something is very like headstrong in you, Capricorn, right? Here with this Nine of Wands being in your current environment leading up to the Five of Cups, okay? So I do feel like maybe there has been some things, there has been some changes, okay? That's Capricorn that's made you say, uh, all right, let me kind of weigh out some things right now, okay? Um, and then whatever doesn't, you know, whatever doesn't make the, the cut, you know, it has to be cut out. It has to, you know, you have to make certain changes, okay? 
um, like I said, you're, I feel like you're really beginning to maybe prioritize more so yourself versus any relationship that you're in. And this doesn't necessarily even mean that you're going to break up. It actually may even strengthen your home by you having a certain level of independence. Okay. And you may be having conversations about this. You know what I'm saying? I feel like maybe Capricorn, this person is them reaching out to you, you know, communicating like, Hey, you know, Capricorn, I see you changing. I see you you know, um, I see you having to, you know, do some sort of balancing act or whatever. Maybe they even want to help make it easier for you, okay? Because overall, we do see a lot of happiness and we do see a lot of um, good times and, and merriment, okay? So overall, I just feel like Capricorn, there may be an energy of... Um, Overall, I just feel like your 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 home is being strengthened um, because of because of some sort of change that you're having to, uh, you know, that you're having to make. And it's not even like a it's not even it's not even like a change that you're making to the relationship. It's more so a change that you are making within yourself. OK, um, where for some of you, it just feels like maybe you're taking a little bit more time out for yourself. I think your partner actually appreciates that as well, because um, I mean, hell, they probably want to take a little bit more time out for themselves as well. And this is not to say, of course, that anything, you know, nobody's trying to, you know, be lying or manipulating to you or anything like that. Sometimes people just need their their space, you know. And that may be a part of this whole relationship that's changing or may be a part of, like I said, something within yourself that is changing, Capricorn. You don't need to feel like you have to be all up under somebody, okay? Like, yes, you're, you're there and I appreciate that you're there and I'm going to still be here as well. But I'm also going to be like, you know, over here <laughs> doing this for me, you know? So let's go ahead and pull some advice. Okay. Balance. Yeah. That's exactly what you're doing. Just it's 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 balance right there. Look at there. Okay, Capricorn. So I don't feel like, I don't necessarily even feel like anything is necessarily wrong, okay? Because it's like maybe maybe that's how it kind of shows up. It's like, oh no, there's a problem in my relationship, or no, there's a problem in my home, or no, the, you know, something like that. But I don't necessarily think that there's necessarily a problem. There just needs to be a little bit of balance, okay? So something something has uh, maybe been running a little bit too good, and it's time for something. It's time for you to switch it up a little bit, Capricorn. OK. And really, the primary message that I see is that, you know, this is where you are going to have to start going after the things that make you happy, Capricorn. OK, because, you know, just sitting here at home, you know, all up under your king of wands, although, you know, it's nice, um, <laughs> although it's nice, um, you know, it's it's not gonna it's not gonna it's not gonna sustain you. It's not gonna sustain them also. Okay. It's it's gonna do y'all's relationship good. Whether it's a romantic relationship or even if if you live with a friend or something like that. I don't wanna put a relationship on everybody. But for whatever reason, whoever it is that you share this space with, it will do you guys a lot of good to, you know, kinda balance that with just a little bit of, you know, independent time. Go off into your man cave or your woman cave or your Capricorn cave. <laughs> you understand? So I'm going to go ahead and let the message go there, Capricorn. It's going to be a pretty interesting end of April for you, but let me know how it's working out in the comment box below. I do appreciate all of your time, your energy, your good vibes, your positivity. Thank you. Bye.